North Carolina A&T has had a long history of a successful football team. This year, the Mighty Aggies won an HBCU National Championship against Alcorn State. This documentary is to tell the true story of how the Aggies pulled off this feat. We sat down with defensive back Najee Reams and offensive lineman Dev Milton to hear their side of the story. Those guys overrated. Oh man, those guys, they came to, oh man, we don't respect what they do. Everybody's ready to see you fold. Everybody across the country wants to see, hey, what are the Aggies going to do? Guess what? The thing is, we got some Aggie dogs. We're a little bit different. Oh yeah. We got some different kind of dogs. And now, we're going to get back on that road, and we're going to smooth that thing out, and we're going to keep on driving. And keep on moving down that damn field. And keep on moving down that street as we work. Because at the end, when we get to the end of 85, you know we're going to be, fellas? In Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you got an opportunity today to show the world why we still the best football team, especially when you come down here between Sullivan and Liz. Jacksonville State, that was a tough one because it was the first one and we was playing a ranked team, but. I think we um, came together at the right time and got it done. I would say some challenges would have been um, leadership, like just a little bit, you know. But we we had leaders. Don't get me wrong, but like some things could have been done a little bit better. First of all, we got a new coach. You know, it's the same system basically, but new coach. You know, the first first year jitters. You know, but we. I think we prevailed. It was it was a great feeling. It was a great feeling being back there. It, um, it made us feel like like kind of like we was closer to like having our dream, like playing in the NFL, playing in that stadium that big, that well known. Um, it, it was a great feeling, especially being on that field again. When we scored the first touchdown, I think that's what really the first two touchdowns. Excuse me. I think this was really like what actually helped us out in the end. Because we came out to a fast start, because we usually start off slow as offense. But we came out with a fast start and put numbers on the board, so I think that's what helped us win that game. A low point would have been when Alcorn started running the ball, you know, started getting their feet wet and started going off. But another high point was um, that catch at the end of the game by Isaiah Hicklin. That was a very high point. That's what won the game. If if it wasn't for some injuries, we probably could have won by more than what we did. Earlier in the season, the North Carolina a t State University football team faced adversity when they lost to conference rivals Morgan State. We lost because we weren't fighting hard enough for the, for the win. I think they wanted it a little bit more than we did. And we was like, oh, it's just Morgan State. You know what I'm saying? So... <clears throat> Going into the game, everybody was like, oh, okay, this is Morgan State probably in their head, you know what I'm saying? I don't know for sure if I, I'm not in everybody's head, but, you know, and then he went out there and got punched in the mouth. And couldn't do anything. And then the last three seconds, you know, they had a kick this wonderful field goal to win, so. We expected to go undefeated again. After, especially after the first, the first three games we won, then we kind of got big-headed. Uh, thinking, oh yeah, we you know we the stuff, you know we got this, and we end up losing. So that brought us, that humbled us back down. To go, oh, we gotta go back and grind and work. Everybody was pissed, bro. Like, we was pissed. First, before that game, our mindset was going to fit in that we at. So after we after losing that game, <clears throat> we seen that we gotta pick it up because we not nowhere near as good as we thought we were. You know what I'm saying? Because we had been a uh, ranked team and. Uh, if FBS team, you know what I'm saying, we think that we're all that, you know, we had to really focus and buckle down and come back to earth. I think it was good for the team, though. Uh, this season coming up, um, we expect, honestly, to try to go undefeated again. We know we got some three big, tough games ahead of us, but we looking that we feel like we can go back undefeated. I'm excited to play Duke. <laughs> That's what I'm excited for. On the other side, the Braves are left with a sick feeling when it comes to that two-point conversion, and they don't want to hear anything about a great season. I really don't care about my season. We lost We lost the HBCU National Championship. I really don't care about how, what season we had. Who cares? We lost the National Championship. Nothing else really matters. 